Yeah, no, nah, mate. Bit of down under whore here. So grab some Vegemite. Play, bring your yabbies, prongs, some amber fluid. Sit back for a fair dinkum bit of terror. Hey. Welcome to night 19 of 31 Days of Horror. <laughs> Tonight, we watched The Loved Ones, a psychological thriller in the vein of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's an Australian film, it was just flipping through Prime. And happened on it, and the uh, the trailer looked pretty pretty good. So so I gave it a shot. The mood and tone of the movie are set very quickly. Dark, twisted, just right off the bat. Uh, it doesn't take long for the misery esque horror to start. You got maybe maybe 10, 15 minutes before the plot kicks in. So, basic story. A young lady asks out our main character to take her to prom. Uh, he explains to her that he's already going with somebody else, with his girlfriend. And she does not take it very well. <laughs> so, like, the next scene we see, he's out climbing a cliff. Apparently, he likes climbing rocks. <laughs> and when he gets to the top, all of a sudden, her dad, who we find out is her dad, walks up behind him, puts chloroform, knocks him out, kidnaps him, and in the worst part of the movie, fucking kills his dog. So... If you're one of those people that absolutely cannot stand to see dogs get hurt, this is not the movie for you. So yeah, then the torture ensues as his girlfriend and his mom and the cop in the movie start looking for him and are worrying about him. The, the gore is pretty decent. His hobbling, speaking of the misery, is fucking intense. You don't get, you know, straight up misery, but this version of it is, god damn, man. <laughs> but the story is alright, but what makes the movie is the performances of the actors. Each one of them plays their role phenomenally. And go full, full fucking tilt into their character. Whether it's the main character who is, you know, a depressed kid who lost his dad, like, within a year. Or the, the main girl's father who is just crazy but dedicated to his daughter. The performances are just fantastic, and the score of the movie, when when the intense moments start happening, the score is fucking perfect for it. I haven't I haven't noticed a movie score in a while, but this one, when the fucking intense moments happen, it's like okay, fuck yeah, this is perfect. It it's a perfect score. It adds to it to the intensity, to the tension of the scenes. The direction and the cinematography is fucking on point. In The Loved Ones, it's 
from the slow mos to the extreme close ups to just the slow like zoom ins. It's I mean they're used beautifully. I wouldn't I wouldn't go as far as to say, you know, Kubrick esque, but there's one scene in the movie where the main girl is sitting there, she's just looking up, and the camera's just slowly moving in. And it's like, holy shit. And it's just this long take. It's just her face. Fucking beautiful. <laughs> the direction is good. The writing is good. And it was written and directed by the same guy, Sean Byron. B-Y-R-N-E. There's gore, there's nudity, a drug and alcohol use, so certainly not family-friendly horror. This movie is just about everything one would want from a dirty grindhouse fucking horror movie. I'm going to I'm going to throw 4 out of 5 burritos towards it because for the intensity and the unexpected brutality of it the the score and the ending is pretty good when you think it's over it's not over and then it's like holy shit and then there's a reveal and oh it was good it was good i was i was pleasantly fucking surprised at the loved ones australian movie i believe it came out it was filmed in 2009 came out in 2010 Found it on Prime. Certainly, it's worth a shot during during Halloween season. It's, again, very much in the vein of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, so if you're not a fan of torture horror, not necessarily hostile level torture horror, but grimy, dirty, with just that twist of sparkle on the top if you watch it you'll understand what i mean <laughs> but the loved ones was surprisingly an intense and brutal horror movie definitely a good watch check it out again it's on prime video that's that's it for night 19 of 31 Days of horror. <laughs> Come back tomorrow and see what we watch. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit any of the classics in because I keep stumbling on stuff that's impressive. Last night it was We Summon the Darkness, which was surprisingly good. Tonight it was fucking The Loved Ones. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, see you later.